happening to our people? How many Chinese, Trayvon Ma, anybody ever seen Chinese people marching up and down the street for justice? You never see it. The only people I see marching up and down the street for justice is us, black and brown people. You know why? Because we the ones getting treated like trash by the world. Not just the white man, I'm talking about the world. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And all of this is happening is because we don't listen to God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. We got to do what? All his commandments. God requires actions of us, but do we do what God say? What's your name, bro? Edgar. Who? Edgar. Edgar, if I was to ask you your race, what would you tell me? Mexican. Mexican. Come with me real, real quick. I just want to show you this sign real quick right here. So you would say Mexican, right? You from Mexico or you born and raised here? You born and raised here. So when you look on this sign, where you see yourself on this sign? Close to the bottom. It's a car, right? That's who you are according to the Bible. Because when I ask you, let me ask you a question. What's the difference between Hispanic, Latino, and Mexican? Why, why is there so much confusion on who you are? You, you, you ever thought about that? Why is it that one minute somebody would call you a Latino, right? Then the next minute somebody would call you a Hispanic, right? Then the next minute somebody would call you a Mexican, right? Why is there so much confusion if we are just one people? Give me Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. The reason why that confusion happened is because this atrocity that happened to your people. This didn't just happen to black people. It happened to your people before it happened to us. It happened to the so-called Hispanics in 1492 when Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue and came over here and killed y'all. They came over here and killed you, took this land, and now you pridefully saying, I'm a Mexican, I'm a Puerto Rican, I'm a Dominican. It's all lies. It's all lies, bro. We are one nation. My brother right here, what's your race? I'm American. You're an American. American is a place. What's your nationality? American. American, just like my brother right here. You see the confusion, bro? Watch what the Bible prophesied what happened. Because that's how you know you guys chosen, an Israelite. You just fulfilled prophecy and you ain't even realized it. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. So God says an ox, a bull knows his owner. It knows who it belongs to. Meaning I could go up to a bull and say, let's go. And it won't move. But as soon as his owner come over to go, it knows his owner and it moves immediately. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. Edgar, what's an ass? A donkey. An ass is a donkey. So the Bible says a donkey what? And the ass, his master's crib. So a donkey knows its homeland. You can take a donkey miles down the road and it'll know how to get back home. But Edgar, you just fulfilled prophecy without even realizing. Watch what you just said is in the Bible. Read. But Israel. Edgar, check this out. You see this sign? Israel, the so-called Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Haitians, Jamaicans, African American, Mexicans, Argentina, and Chile. Those are the Israelites. God said what? But Israel. But Edgar. Doth not know. Edgar don't know his nationality or race. That's why one minute he could be a Mexican, one minute he could be called a Latino, and one minute he could be called a Hispanic because Israel what? But Israel doth not know. Like if I get five black people right here right now, one gonna say I'm black, one gonna say I'm African, one gonna say I'm African American, one gonna say I'm a nigga, one gonna say I'm Negro. Why is there so much confusion on who we are? One minute you're brown. One minute you're me Mexican, Hispanic. Why is it so much confusion? God said, Israel what? But Israel doth not know. The real Israelites, they wouldn't know their real race and their true identity. You know why? It was taken from us in slavery. It was prophesied to happen to us because of our sins. And that's why our community is the way it is. Blacks and Hispanics don't understand the power that they have. If we woke up and realized who we are as a people, when we were once a great nation, we'd be unstoppable in this earth. Nobody could deal with us. And that's exactly why they do what? Keep us conquering, divided. They pin Mexicans against African Americans, brown against black. It used to be brown and black and brown pride, Edgar. What happened? We used to stand together. What happened? Black and brown used to stand together. Hermano, mi familia. What happened? I'm asking you, what happened, Edgar? 
You don't know? Let me ask you a question and be honest with me. Do you know Mexicans that don't like black people? Some? You know some? Not even realizing we the same people, bro. We the same people that got beat down by the white man. They forced your people into Catholicism and they forced us into Christianity. They took everything from us and then pinned us against each other. And now here we are killing each other, fighting over pennies. Let me ask you a question. Are Mexicans living in poverty right now? Are black people living in poverty right now? We both in poverty together, but we go against each other to steal pennies from each other. Neither one of us got nothing. Go to Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Because we fulfilling prophecy, Edgar. This Bible is a history book about your forefathers. Let me ask you a question, Edgar. If you look on the border right now, what are they doing to the uh, Mexican kids down there on the border? Or Mexican people all together? What are they doing to illegal immigrants? So they say. They call them illegal immigrants. What are they doing to them on the border? They doing what? He said treating them bad. What you got, Edgar? These supposed to be your people, your daughters, your nieces, your sisters, your brothers. Are this these the Mexicans on the border, right? What are they doing to them on the border? You ever thought about it? Do you? Let me ask you a question, Edgar. Do you care about what's happening to them, or are you not even thinking about it? Yo, Edgar, you with me? You thinking about it? Let me. I'm asking you though. What's happening to them down there? You say what? They getting, they getting treated what? Badly, right? They taking mothers away from their daughters. They kidnapping daughters and taking them away from their mothers. They separating parents from their children. What are we going to do about it? Do we care at all? Because when I look around, I see Mexicans living life. Turning up, enjoying life, riding around in our fancy cars. We just celebrated Cinco de Mayo. Everybody had their flags out representing proudly. But what about the babies that's being put in cages? Watch this, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. What we finna read to you is prophecy about that happening to our people. Edgar, we gotta start caring about each other, bruh. How can we call ourselves men knowing what they did to us? They murdered your people, our people by the millions. Took this land and gave us Little Village. And now we cool with that. Like, yeah, we'll take Little Village. You can take all of this. And we don't want to do nothing to fight for it and take it back. Read. But it shall come to pass. So God says something is going to happen in the future. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So everything you see happening on the border is for one reason. Read. Read that again. But it shall come to pass. So our people are going to be being put in cages on the border. Our daughters are going to be kidnapped. Our brothers are going to be gunned down the street. Our brothers are going to be put in cages and jails and prison. It shall come to pass. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Edgar, all of this evil is happening because we don't listen to God. God gave us a Bible to follow and conduct ourselves according to this law. But you know what laws we want to follow? We want to follow the laws of Amorare. We want to follow the laws of Latin King, Latin Count, uh, La Raza. We want to follow the laws of GD, BD, Vice Lord, Blackstone. Right, Edgar? Because we follow the lit. We got to follow the code, right? And if you don't, what happens? Violation, right? It's a violation that comes with God when you break his laws. You know what that violation was? Slavery. You know what that violation is? Poverty. You know what that violation is? Getting gunned down in the street. That's only happening to our people. How many Chinese, Trayvon Ma, anybody ever seen Chinese people marching up and down the street for justice? You never see it. The only people I see marching up and down the street for justice is us, black and brown people. You know why? Because we the ones getting treated like trash by the world. Not just the white man, I'm talking about the world. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And all of this is happening is because we don't listen to God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. We got to do what? All his commandments. God requires actions of us, but do we do what God say? No. God says to keep the Sabbath holy. Edgar, you know when the Sabbath is? What, how do you say Saturday in Spanish? Sabado, right? Sabado, right? That's the word Sabbath. That's what the root word Sabbath is. Sabado, Sabbath. Today is the Lord's Sabbath. Today is the day that you're supposed to be congregating with your brothers and staying out the way. 
not in the streets, not in the stores, not buying, selling, not out here kicking it. You're supposed to be on this side doing what we doing. Like my my uh my Northern Kingdom brothers right here, crying aloud in Spanish to wake your people up and tell them to come out the world. Cause Edgar, you look like you hate the world in the way it is, bro. Do you think that the way you live and the way life is, you think that this house is supposed to be? What you say, sis? You hate it? You hate it? What about you, Edgar? You like how life is? You don't like how life is, right? So what are you willing to do about it? Give me Ezekiel 9 and 4 real quick. Because what y'all say, again, y'all are fulfilling prophecy to show that y'all are the children of this book. Because the Bible says it's going to be a certain group of people that's going to wake up. And they're going to look around like, man, this, it ain't right, bro. This ain't how we're supposed to be living. We got to, our, our women got to sell their bodies just to make money. Our men got to sit here gang bang and sell dope and poison to their own people just to get enough money to, to, to slide by. That ain't how life is supposed to be for us, bro. So why is it like that? Because of our sins. But watch what God say. Read. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 9 and verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city. So you wonder why we out here in the city, on the streets? Because God commanded us to do what? Read it again. Go through the midst of the city. We ain't out here playing games like this is a joke. We out here playing, thus saith the Lord. So God says you Israelites do what? Go through the midst of the city. Don't they call Chicago the city? So guess what we're going to be at? We're going to be in the midst of the city. Not like they are in the Catholic Church. What are they doing to the young boys in the Catholic Church? they raping the young boys in the Catholic Church. they molesting them. And they taking money from the people. What are they doing to black people in the Christian Church? they taking money from the grannies. Granny can't even afford to pay her rent, but she got to get ties to the pastor. The pastor riding around in the Cadillac and the people catching a bus that actually go to the place. And we giving our money up. That's not how it's supposed to be. Bring it out. We got to get on these streets and save our people. That's if you care about them. So God says it's going to be a special group of people that care. This brother care. This brother care. These brothers care. You got to start caring about your people. You got to start caring about yourself, Edgar. Because you got to understand who you are. You a son of the Most High God. God is a real man that created all of this. He said, I'm going to choose a special group of people to be my own. Those are the people on those signs. When those children sin against him, it's a punishment that comes with it. Watch this, read. Go through the midst of the city. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Go through the midst of the Israelites, read. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh. And that cry. Set a mark on who? The foreheads of the men. He says specifically set a mark, meaning give understanding to the men. Us men got to step up and be men again. Because our women will follow when we start leading. But the way it is now is the woman is over the man. The woman got to stay up late night with the kids. That ain't how it's supposed to be. We're supposed to be bearing the burden for each other. Of course the man is the, his head of his wife, but we're supposed to be able to take care of our sisters. Let me ask you a question, young sister. Do you feel safe walking these streets by yourself? Why is that when we out here, Edgar? Our sisters should feel safe enough to walk up and down these streets knowing we out here. Knowing that if anybody play with her, we got her. Because why? That's our family. Whether you want to believe it or not, blacks and Hispanics are the same people. That's right. Same people. You go to Mexico right now, be honest with me, Edgar. Have you ever seen Mexicans the same color as me? You find Mexicans darker than I am. So don't let color be the thing that disconnects you from your people. Because some Mexicans look at black people and be like, no gusto negro. No, 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 bien, no gusto negro. No, 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 devil, devil. Satan, evil. Black is evil, right? Not even realizing we the same people and the white man got you destroyed. The, the white man took everything from you and you think because your skin is a little lighter that you better than us. No, we both in slavery. We both in poverty. We both getting our head bust. But guess what? Nobody doing nothing. My brothers and sisters in the car, they putting Mexican babies in cages on the border. Which one of you men are going to step up to do something about it? I see y'all got nice cars. I see y'all got nice jobs, but they putting Mexican babies in cages right now on the border. Who's going to do something about it? Everybody living that life and don't give a damn about what's happening to their people. Selfish individuals that only care about yourself. And nobody wants to do nothing about it. So you see, Edgar, this is where you belong at. My brother, come over here and build. This is where you belong, Edgar. Over here on this side with us building up your people, bro. We got to start caring about each other. Read that. And set a mark upon the forehead. So 
So the individuals you see right here, God just set a mark on our forehead, meaning gave us the understanding that we the Israelites. Read. Of the men that sigh and that cry. Have I seen you out here before? We seen you before, right? You know today the Sabbath, right? Huh? I know that. Today is the Sabbath, bro. I thought I told we told you that not supposed to be buying and selling. So Edgar, let me ask you a question. You see him as your brother? You see him as your brother? That's how it's supposed to be. Family. So if we see each other as family, do you think I come against my brother? No. Do you think I'm going to sit there and let somebody harm my brother? No, because that's mine. The reason why we are the way we are, because we don't see each other as family. God says, I'm going to say and give understanding to those that do what, Sai? And that, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. You know why God says sigh and cry? Meaning these are the ones that care. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.